Government officials in Kenya are now speaking to news media, and Paul McKenzie's Melindy cult is matching a pattern that we're seeing for preachers who are radicalized using William Branham's message cult theology. According to homicide detectives at the scene, quote, McKenzie brainwashed his converts using William Branham's end of days theology and convinced them that starvation could hasten their escape from this life to be with Jesus. We have received a flood of questions and comments concerning the last part of that statement by homicide detectives, that starvation could, quote, hasten the escape. There is nothing to be found in William Branham's theology advertising converts to starve themselves into heaven. If there were, we would not find a single convert. Nobody joins a cult with the intention of taking their lives. Those who do are manipulated by a radicalized cult leader. In all cults with tragic ends, the loss of life is a consequence, not a core doctrine. In the news report from Kenya, one statement of key interest is found in McKinsey's conversion to William Branham's message cult of personality. Shortly after the conversion, McKinsey began preaching in the streets. This is a pattern that we have seen when a cult minister is radicalized with Branham's doomsday theology. We can confirm that McKinsey was preaching doomsday theology from his videos on YouTube. And when the street preachers in London, Ontario were radicalized by Branham's doomsday theology in 2017, we examined key statements in Branham's sermons that were used to radicalize Stephen Ravbar and Matthew Carapella. With Ravbar and Carapella, we had specific examples of the doctrines they became radicalized with, and we were able to identify which sermons they were using to terrorize London. Londoners were shocked when Carapella changed almost overnight from a life of luxury to screaming at women for wearing pants as they passed by his street preaching. In the case of Paul McKenzie, we have some examples of the transcripts of William Branham that were used for radicalization. He was radicalized against medication, education, and the world order, all key concepts of two specific versions of William Branham's stage persona, one version of which was in use when the message spread into Kenya. Hopefully, as we continue, we'll be able to identify other Branhamite sects in the area that are using this same theology. Stay tuned for william-branham.org for more updates.